Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. And you know what? In my early days, uh, I wasn't always a senior pastor. I used to be a youth pastor. I spent 15 years in three different churches ministering to teenagers. And as a person who got to hang around a lot of youth, I got asked a lot of those youth questions. Well, I mean, even as a dad, I get asked a lot of those teenager questions. And you know, a question that comes up every so often is, is this one. And you've, you've probably heard it before also. The question is, is there anything that God cannot do? Anything that God cannot do? And to that I would say, yes. There is one thing that God absolutely cannot do, and that is he can't be second in your life. He has to be first. He has to be first of all. He has to be higher than all because he is first. He is first. And God is with you all day long. So if God is with you all day long and he is first, how often are you spending time with him? I mean, you don't know when you wake up how your day will go. You don't know what things will cross your path, right? You don't know what life is going to throw your way. So before that day begins, spend some time in prayer. First, right when you wake up, before anything else takes place, Spend some time in prayer, because if God is first in your life, then everything else will fall into place. If God is not first in your life, things might go a little out of order. Now, that's not to say that you won't have trouble or trials in your life. Now, those things are a guarantee, because we live in a broken world. But what I am saying is that if God is first in your life, he will help you get through those tough times, because you've put him first. And when you do that, you put God first in your life. Don't congratulate yourself. Don't pat yourself in the back. Don't say, you know, I, I put God first today. Look, that wasn't anything that you did. You didn't put God first. God has always been first. God's been first since day one. God will be first for all time. Take a moment right now, this morning, and examine where your heart is. Examine where your day is, because how you start your day is so important, because the rest of the day is just going to happen to you. It's going to come and it's going to distract you. The day is going to try to take you away from God. So don't let it. Wake up, get up early, and begin your day with prayer. I mean, none of us are that independent that we don't need time alone with God. Even Jesus needed time alone with God. So that most important time in your life, it's not the time you spend at work, it's not the time you spend on your hobbies, and it's not even the time you spend with your family. The most important time in your life is the time you spend in prayer. And when you put God first, all those other things, the job, the hobbies, your family, all of the other things will fall into place. Matthew 6, says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. That verse can save all the relationships in your life. That verse can save your children. That verse can save your finances. That verse can save your health. That verse can save your life. God loves you. God loves you and he will never mislead you because you are somebody that God loves. And as somebody that God loves, God has a plan for you. He has a future for you. And he wants to tell you what that is. He is a God who is willing to sit and listen to you. What a privilege that is. What a blessing that is. You get to have a relationship with the creator of the universe. You get an audience with him and he is working on your behalf. Spend time with him today. Spend time in prayer. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're gonna talk about prayer and how to increase our prayer life so that we get the most out of prayer because we wanna live our best life. 
We're talking about living our best life. We have two services on Sunday, one at 9.30, a traditional service with our choir, and then we have an 11 o'clock service, a little bit more contemporary. We use our worship team, and also at that hour, we have a children's program, and we have youth group. We also have youth uh, that meet on Wednesdays, every Wednesdays in the back building. You can send your kid on their skateboard or their bicycle. Uh, we'll even feed them dinner. You can send them over at 6 o'clock and we'll uh, be finished around 7.30. They meet every single week right here in your neighborhood. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of this. I hope to see you Sunday. Bye.